dating a drug dealer, I felt more feminine than I ever felt in my life. The best gifts I ever had in my life. I felt the most feminine with a drug dealer. You're young, the risk is worth that reward for you, but as you age and get older, you realize you can get that excitement from doing other things. We're like, being totally honest, drug dealers are more romantically they know they know women. They know women because they get a lot of women, so they know women. I like drug dealers. I like scammers. A nine to five. I don't even work a nine to five. <laughs> I want to see what's your type. What you I like? like drug dealers. <laughs> Dark she skin. Lied. She lied. Drug dealers and scammers, y'all. They gotta have money. The nine to five money. guy or a perkhead drug dealer with money. Oh, um, perkhead. A perkhead drug dealer with money. Perk drug dealer with money. <laughs> I'm with the perkhead with the money. A drug dealer. I like drug dealers. How bad is the perk addiction? You ever heard of the term nice guys finish last? Well, we all know who will always be in first place. These are the types of conversations that panders, simps, and post-wall women never like to discuss because accountability brings a lot of shame, guilt, and regret. And that makes our argument as modern men valid, and our actions justifiable. Passport Bros. Yo, what's up guys? Back again with another video for the past poor bros. First and foremost, please hit that like, comment, subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot and I appreciate it very, very dearly. Now today, 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 these Western women have come out to play, man. Oh my goodness. Man, these Western women, what is it with their infatuation with these dusty bum pookie ray ray drug dealing criminal college dropout buffoons i wanted to say something else but i'm not gonna say that word we're just gonna just call these men buffoons what is it about these men that these women just love so much about these dangerous criminal drug dealing buffoons and these are the type of men that these black women love we're gonna say black women because it's not all women we don't see this type of separate sentiment from other women it's like some women yes from other communities yes but it's in particular it's black women let's be clear we have to call a spade a spade the rappers, the drug dealers, the gangster gangsters, the high school dropouts. Ooh, Pookie. Ooh, John Quavius, John Doofius. And these are the kind of men that they love. They're attracted to these men. They have burning desire for these type of men. But the funny thing is, these men actually te are, not tend to be, no, are the worst type of men, period, across any race. That's 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 not even just it within the black uh, black race. No, for white men too. Quick break, guys. I just wanted to introduce to you the free money making guide to become a passport bro and sustain your lifestyle overseas how to make money as a passport bro working remotely get your guide now join the community the link is in the description below and in the comment section as well let's get this money guys hispanic men asian men any man that's a drug dealer criminal college dropout high school dropout these are all the worst types of men that are going to bring nothing but chaos, toxicity, and dysfunction into these women's lives. And the funny thing is, a lot of these women, they, well, all of them, I'm not even saying a lot of them, all of them know this, but they willfully ignore this because they don't want to see this. They know this, but they don't want to see this. 
they know these are red flags they know that these kind of guys are not good for them but they don't care they don't care why because the excitement oh my goodness it's so exciting to be around a pookie ray ray to just be living life on the edge we don't know if we're gonna get locked up tomorrow we we committing crimes but we don't know if if the police gonna get us we on the run it's exciting to them it's an emotional roller coaster of up and down for them they like that they call that excitement they consider danger exciting whereas on the flip side well-to-do men well-educated men well-dressed men who speak proper who have things going for themselves who have their life in order who have a good job good career well-dressed well-spoken an articulate man they consider oh boring he's corny he's boring he's so bland like there's nothing we can do with him like he's boring these are the best types of men that will bring success happiness and good fortune to your life and these are the type of men that can actually support and provide the same support and provisioning and providing that these women are looking for but they don't like these kind of men because, oh, they're boring, they're corny. But these men, in fact, are not actually boring and corny. It's just that what these men are into, these ratchets are not into. It's not that they're boring, it's just you don't like what he like. He probably like golfing and going out and, and, and going to the arcade and, you know, going sightseeing, mountain climbing. You know, these, these, these shenan shenanigans, these, we need a word for them. Hooninanigans. These hooninanigans, ratchets, they're not into none of that stuff. You know, all the only places that they always go is to the club, to the bar, to get their weave done, to the nail salon. Like, they only go so few places. So, of course, a guy like that would be considered boring to them because you're not into what he's into but that's not boring that's just different he's just different but different doesn't mean bad but the guys who are actually bad are the ones who cons they consider good and they're treating them good they're giving them the love the pookies the ray rays the the, the john doofiuses those are the guys that get the the true love and the true respect and the true appreciation because that's what these women like which is fine like you can like who you like your preference is your preference is your preference but where the problem lies is a lot of times after dealing with these kind of guys these women never want to take accountability for the situations in which they've put themselves into by dealing with these type of men. They never want to take accountability for the fact that you chose this guy, you chose a criminal, you chose a drug dealer. So you also are going to choose, you also chose the type of situation and or consequences that come with dealing with those kind of men. But then they want to turn around and say, no, these men ain't ish, they're dusty, they're bums, they can't even take care of themselves, they can't even pay child support. It's like, that's the men that you're dealing with. That's the men that you chose because that's what you like. But they're gonna about face and blame all men for the problems of which the men that they chose present. all men are not dusties all men are not bums there's a lot of men out here that are doing the right thing that have a lot of stuff going for themselves they are well educated well dressed well mannered well articulate men black men that are doing very well for themselves but they purposely ignore avoid and discredit those men because they don't like those kind of men they consider them boring or corny but that's fine but don't don't then after dealing with these pookies and ray rays then try to come back to these kind of 
well-articulate, well-educated men to try to clean up the mess that Pookie left behind. It's like, no, he doesn't and shouldn't have to deal with your BS and the consequences that you have brought for yourself into you, in your life and have to pick up the scraps. Like, that's not his job. And a lot of the people that like to defend these type of women and not hold them accountable, the simps, the panderers, the people, you know, the other men as well, and the other women as well that like to save face and avoid accountability and like to pretend as if, oh, it's these men's fault. It's like, no, these men are have always been bad men, have always been, they've always been these type of men. But the fact that these men are going to continue to breed and continue to further their legacy of dysfunction and toxicity is due to the fact that a lot of women like these kind of men. There have always been ain't-ish dusty men in the world, but why is there a prolonging and a continuation of those type of men? Why? Because you keep on reproducing with those type of men and then having their pookie children to then further the pookie legacy of dysfunction, toxicity, and destruction. And then when we do have that same very toxicity and destruction within the black community, they want to blame the men as if it's our fault that you chose the wrong guy. This is the very reason why us passport bros have to leave. We have to. We have to. We have to leave in order to find some type of success. If you are the type of black man that says, okay, I want to be with a black woman. In order to find a black woman that is deserving of the respect and is an upstanding woman that is, you know, supportive and not, you know, toxic, you have to go overseas to find that kind of woman because here, a lot of black women here, the majority like pookies, ray rays, drug dealers, criminals. So they will never even see your true value as a man who is a true provider, a well-articulated, well-educated, upstanding man. They're always gonna see you as less than as less masculine as oh he's 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 not as interesting less exciting corny boring basic they make you feel as if you don't even have a place here because to some degree that's a little bit true it's a little bit true because they don't want you to be anything else other than what they want you to be as a black man there's only so many types that you can be as a black man. You can either be a gangster, a drug dealer, a rapper, or a high school dropout. If you're any one of those types, you're going to get love, you're going to get women, you're going to have girls. But if you're a well-spoken, well-articulate, well-educated, well-dressed black man who has things going for himself, nice businesses, good career, making good money, six figures and up, they see you like you're boring, like you're corny, you're ugly, you're bad. You're you're. Th they call the good men and they think of them as bad. Up until the point when they need them, when they're in their late 30s, after having a couple kids, now you're a single mother because Pookie and John Doofius, Pookievius, John Quavius done left you high and dry like he was always going to. Now you want to come back to these kind of guys to save you. But no, these men are done saving you broken women who don't deserve to be saved. No, no, he's too busy saving himself. Black men save yourself. And one great way how you can save yourself is by getting that passport, booking on flights, and catching your stride overseas, my guy. Don't let these women try to make you feel as if you're less than. Don't make them don't let them make you feel as if you're not good enough. Because a lot of them within themselves, probably the more majority of them are not good enough for you. 
So continue to rise high and stay in them skies. Passport Bros, we up. Please like, comment, subscribe. If it ain't foreign, it's boring. If it ain't foreign, I'm ignoring. Passport Bros, we up. Thank you, guys.